Welcome back. Last episode, we took you on our waterfall crawl in the tablelands of tropical North Queensland. This week, we head into the Northern Territory, starting with Litchfield and Nitmaluk National Parks. If only it was that easy. Uh, the end of last episode, we left it uh, going into Townsville. We had a few errands to run. We had a few days. Uh, got a little solar panel on the roof for a bit more juice. Got some new tires for Vance. We then jumped on the Overlanders Highway to head about a thousand kilometers across Queensland to get to the Queensland Northern Territory border. Okay, we are about to cross the border into the Northern Territory. Um, hopefully everything is smooth. All we had to do was fill out these forms beforehand and say where we've been in the past 28 days uh, and make sure that we haven't been in any hot spots. Uh, we're sure that they'll definitely ask us when we <laughs> go to the border control because we have New South Wales plates. Um, I'm sure they'll ask us a lot of questions, but hopefully it's all smooth sailing. Okay, so just went through the border. It was the easiest thing ever. <laughs> so nice. They were such good people. I got so nervous. Like, you know when you you go to like a grocery store or something that you don't buy anything and you feel weird walking out like you feel like you've done something wrong even though you haven't like i felt nervous that yeah. we had done something wrong even though we haven't but it was great it was easy like maybe like two minutes and now we're in northern territory once that was done we then had another about 1500 kilometers to go so we strapped ourselves in for a good few days of driving that looked a little something like this After all that, we finally here. We're about we're about half an hour outside of our Litchfield National Park. Just a little free camp. Pretty knackered to be honest, and it's so hot. It is so hot. <laughs> oh my god, it's oh. insane. I couldn't even prepare for it to be honest. Today's been the hottest day, considering like two nights ago when we were further south, like around Tennant Creek, right in the middle. It was below 10 degrees in the evenings, which is pretty cold for us, considering we've been chasing the sun this whole trip. So it's been tough, but we're pretty keen to check out Litchfield and the water holes tomorrow, but I imagine it'll be pretty busy. So as always, relaxing night, early to bed, early to rise, and we should have a pretty fun filled day tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. We just arrived into Litchfield National Park. It was a little bit longer than we thought, like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, Stop number one, we're doing Bully, I believe it's pronounced, um, Rock Hole, which looks pretty beautiful. There are a few cool spots we want to check out, but it seems like you can definitely do them in a day. It is so, so hot up here. Oh my gosh. That as much as we would like to drag it over a few days, I don't think we could handle the hot nights. Last night was we didn't oh. basically didn't really sleep last night. I kind of had a little <laughs> meltdown because I was so hot. It was like 29 degrees at midnight last night, which is in Fahrenheit we'll put somewhere, but... <laughs> It's so hot, so we'll try and get a lot of this done. Plenty of swimming today to cool off, and then we'll be ducking south over the next couple of days after that. So come along for the Litchfield extravaganza today.
How nice? <laughs> How good? Oh, there he goes. Oh, you good? Just had a lovely dip all to ourselves. So if you're coming here, so nice. definitely come early. Um, we had it all to ourselves. There's a few people showing up now, I think. Um, but it's so refreshing. Oh yeah. my god. It's warmer than I thought as well. We've been dealing with such cold water holes, but this is it's just perfect. It's, it's like seven o'clock. So nice in the water. Just in the middle of nature. It's just awesome. And the sun, if you can tell, is just starting to peak up. So we're gonna dry off and then head to Florence Falls. It'll probably be pretty packed by now, but should be another nice little dip. So we made it to Florence Falls and no one's here. It's so weird. We thought it'd be packed, but no one's here. So we just went straight for a dip, made the most of it. Take a look at this. Just got to the Wangi Falls. Is that how you say it? Wangi? I Wang believe so. Wangi Falls. <laughs> Wangi? 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 Uh, Wangi Falls car park. It's about 26, I think maybe 30 Ks um, away from Florence Falls. It's just a quick drive. It looks pretty crowded here though. So um, should still be really nice though because it's heating up a lot. And yeah. we're just, the second we get out of the water, we're instantly hot. So definitely need this dip. So that was not really what we expected. It was a bit more like, kind of felt like an amusement park yeah. almost. Like very, just like you just walk straight up into it, um, which is great for some people. I think if you really, like you want to experience these things, but you can't necessarily do massive hikes or anything, um, then this is a great place, but. Uh, really, really beautiful, but it's just not exactly, like, like it's not exactly like what we like to find. The first two today were amazing in yeah. the middle of nature, no one around, just felt like exactly what you want from that sort of thing. So yeah, I mean, it's still beautiful, but not our cup of tea. <laughs> so we just went in for a quick dip and now we're just making some coffee and then we'll hit the road. And where are we going next? Heading south, hopefully yeah. Edith Falls. In around the Catherine region, we might have a bit of a poke around there before heading further south to escape this heat. <laughs> we can't hang. We cannot hang. <laughs> We made it. <laughs> Good few hours of driving back down south. And now we're at the beautiful Edith Falls. We had a quick dip in the plunge pool at the bottom just to cool off after the drive. Had a little nibble for dinner. Now we're gonna go up to the upper pool, which is supposed to be spectacular. And fingers crossed we get a nice sunrise up there. We're staying at the campground here, which we usually don't do. We try to stay at free camps, but I think just the past week of non-stop driving and being in the heat really got to us and so it's nice just to have a little spot where we know we can come home, have a shower and hopefully a chill night. Yeah.
this. So big. Look at all of that. And we have it all to ourselves. Unreal. This is only a K up from the main water hole, which is not too long at all. It's probably like a 10 minute walk. So much better than the main one as well. So if you come here, definitely recommend going up to this spot, especially at this time of day, because it's, it's really beautiful lighting, if you can tell. And you'll probably have it all to yourself. So nice. So we were just about to pack up and go down and we thought, oh, we don't know what's over there. Let's go check it out. What is this? This is way cooler than where we were. What? So amazing. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. All of this. This is where you want to be for sunset. Look at that. That's Northern Territory written all over it. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a good end to the day. This is pretty easy to find when you go to the very, very top. Um, the, one, the trail that's 1k, you then just follow it along and then go off the trail a little bit to the right. It's pretty easy. Can't really miss it, but apparently we almost did. We almost did. <laughs> so don't make that mistake. Come here and watch the sunset if you come here. It's so pretty. Wow. Good end to the day. <laughs> Yesterday afternoon, we went and checked out the Mataranga Thermal Pools and the Bitter Springs, which are only about a five minute drive apart from each other. Um, the Mataranga Thermal Pools were really beautiful, but it really felt sort of like just a man-made resort pool in the sense. It was kind of not really to our liking. It would have obviously been really cool to go in the morning when we doubt a lot of people would be there but it still wasn't really our cup of tea. Um, so, but we did like Bitter Springs a little bit more because it did feel a bit more natural. But then again, there were a lot of people. Uh, we did manage to get a little bit of alone time just before the sunset, which was pretty nice. So if you are coming, definitely come either in the morning or late in the afternoon if you don't want a lot of people there. <laughs> thermal pools themselves are about 33 degrees celsius which we did not really want at that time of day <laughs> we were just so hot but it actually was because it was so hot outside it actually felt quite refreshing which was interesting um so that was our little i guess bath for the day so then once we wrapped things up we just drove an hour south to a little free camp along the highway to get a head start because we're now driving down to alice springs for those of you that do know the Northern Territory, particularly up north, uh, you might be wondering why we are going through it quite quickly and aren't visiting a few of those main areas in that northern part of the Northern Territory, uh, particularly Kakadu and Catherine Gorge. And there's a few reasons for that. So number one, because of the coronavirus, it's delayed our trip obviously a lot. So we're already at the tail end of the dry season, which means it's starting to heat back up again. So the heat, as we've made a point of mentioning, has been incredibly hot, particularly in Vance. Um, secondly, because of coronavirus as well, um, obviously the state borders were closed for a lot of the dry season, so 
it seems like it's getting pretty busy now because everyone rather than spreading across the whole of the dry season it's now like a lot of people are coming near the end now the borders are open so it's getting a lot lot busier um, another one is as well because the WA border is closed the Western Australian border originally we were supposed to go through the Northern Territory then through the Kimberley and into WA which sort of ticks off then also like Lake Argyle and a few more places that are really cool to see but because now we can't go into WA we don't really want to go along that whole way basically to the WA border to then drive all the way back and then back down to continue down through to South Australia it's sort of something that I think we do want to do again and do it properly, particularly those really, really good spots. We want to spend a little bit more time and do it right. But at the moment, we're just a bit pushed and we feel like we would it's it would still be so much more effort for not that much gain and we still probably wouldn't do it that well and it wouldn't experience it as best as we could. So as much as we would like to see them, we have sort of rushed through this a little bit um, but at the same time, the places we have gone, we've felt like we've really enjoyed them a lot. And uh, you don't need heaps of time there. I mean, the water holes and everything were beautiful and really cool to see, but we were happy to just sort of zip along through them and then start heading south again. So once we get a little bit further south, we're gonna really sort of take our time a bit more, particularly through uh, the McDonald Ranges. We wanna spend a fair bit of time there and really explore the Red Center properly, because it'll be, who knows if we'll be, we'll be coming back, but we definitely do want to do the northern part of the Northern Territory properly again, and maybe even a four-wheel drive that can give us more access to that as well, because Kakadu would make it really tough for Vance to get to a lot of those really big tourist hotspots too. So um, we'd probably end up bypassing a couple of them as well. And then again, because it is so late in the dry season, a lot of the waterfalls probably aren't going to be flowing as well as they should. So we'd sort of see... I guess a bit more lackluster tourist sites than you would see from when we'd planned to come through here, which was like April, May. So a number of reasons not to, but we just keen to sort of get into the, get into the Red Centre. So tune in next week as we head south towards Alice Springs and check out the Red Centre of Australia.